Today, the Supreme Court heard oral, oral arguments about the case of a former postal worker who refused to work on Sundays on religious grounds. The worker sued the U.S. Postal Service alleging religious discrimination. ABC's Melissa Adan explains. It's a case that could impact workplaces across America. Former postal worker and evangelical Christian Gerald Groff and his legal team asking the Supreme Court to protect employees' religious liberties, telling the justices employees should not be forced to choose between their faith and their job. Groff used to deliver mail for the U.S. Postal Service in rural Pennsylvania, except on Sundays when he would attend worship services. They be began to ask people of my position to deliver on Sundays or holidays. And I told them I'm not going to be able to work on the Lord's Day at all. Groff ultimately quit his job and sued. But the Postal Service said accommodating Groff's religious beliefs created a significant burden on his co-workers and its operations, and that Groff's job explicitly required him to work Sundays. The Solicitor General representing the Postal Service arguing to the court that the lower courts correctly found undue hardship on these facts and that Groff's absences created direct concrete burdens on other carriers who had to stay on their shifts longer to get the mail delivered. Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1965 prohibits discrimination in employment on the basis of religion unless an employer can show that reasonably accommodating the employee would create undue hardship on their business. The the Supreme Court interpreted that standard 46 years ago in the case TWA versus Hardison to mean anything more than a de minimis cost on business operations. A majority of justices suggested during oral arguments that its precedent should be tightened, raising the requirement for employers to accommodate religious observance while balancing the business's need to make money. It will mean that employers will have to show a lot more to avoid accommodating employees who asked for exceptions because of their religious beliefs. During oral arguments, several justices indicated Groff's case should be sent back to lower courts for reconsideration. What's not clear is if a majority of the justices believe the Postal Service is obligated to accommodate Groff's absences on Sundays. Melissa Don, ABC News, Los Angeles.